What's up guys, Justin here with TheRenderingEssentials.com back with another Lumion tutorial for you. So in today's video we're going to talk about the mass placement tools contained inside of Lumion and how you can use them to really quickly add objects inside of your renderings. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. Alright, so first things first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with one of the Lumion example files. So I'm just going to go into examples, I'm actually going to pick this watercolor style that's right in the middle. So that's a good one for just kind of placing a bunch of people and vegetation really quickly. And so what we're going to do is we're going to open up this project. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn off the layers of the people that are in here just so I can kind of show you how I would add things like the entourage and other things like that. And those are all on their own layers in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a new layer and make it my active layer just by clicking on it. And then you can come in here and you can turn off all of the people all of this stuff right here. And then we can also delete out the vegetation real quick just by selecting our nature objects. And we're going to select all identical objects and delete them. I'll just delete these. And then we'll do the same thing where we select our identical objects down here and we'll delete them out as well. All right, and so that has left us with just our base model in here. And I wanted to show you some stuff about the different uh, placement tools that are contained inside of Lumion. So first of all, let's go in and let's check, out, let's check out the simplest way that we can add objects quickly. And that is to just activate place mode and then find an object like, let's say that we wanted to add some almond trees back here, you can just select an object and then single click in order to place objects as many times as you want. And one thing I want to point out about this is if you look at this, when you use the single placement tool inside of Lumion, what it does is it randomly rotates these objects and also scales them so that you don't have uniformity with your objects. So if you look at this, right, as I click and add these really quickly, you're going to notice that this is giving these a little bit of rotation and scale so that they're never exactly the same. And so what that means is that means you get more realism in here because if you add a whole bunch of trees and they're all the same size and the same rotation, it just doesn't look right. And so I want to note this also does this with the people models. So let's say I was to go into my people models and under the men, let's add a basketball player. So if I was to add a basketball player right here and then single click and move, notice that this is randomly rotating this person so that you can put this person in here multiple times and he's not just facing the same direction. It can be really frustrating if you have to go back in and manually do that rotation. Now note that for the people it doesn't really seem to be scaling them. Um, so if you look at the height in here, they're all kind of the same height. It doesn't scale that very much, but it does randomly rotate your objects when you place them so that it doesn't look quite as uniform when you do this. And so now let's talk about um, probably one of my favorite placement tools in any program, which is the, um, which is the mass placement tool right here. And so I really like this tool because of how easy it is to uh, place different things. So for example, let's go in here and let's select maybe like one of these American beech trees. Well, let's say I wanted to add an American beech tree to each one of these spaces right here. Well, what you could do is you could come in here and single click, or you could use the mass placement tool in order to place a number of these trees along a path. So notice how I single click and then single click again in order to add those trees. I don't know why there's a horse in here, but we're going to go ahead and remove that. But notice how when it does this, it's going to place a number of objects along this path. Well, this tool allows you to adjust the number of objects by clicking and dragging the slider. And so what I can do is I can come in here and I can really easily um, select the number of objects that go in here um, and place them along this line. And you can kind of adjust the placement by clicking and dragging the points on either end. Um, but you can see how you can use this in order to quickly do this. And one thing I like about this is you can also adjust things like the direction that they're facing either all at once or you can set this to randomize that direction. And so I really love that you can randomize this really quickly because you almost never want things to face the exact same direction. So the fact that it allows you to do this is just really awesome for me. And so one of the other cool things about this is you can use this to place multiple different objects. So if we were to look over here, 
for example, and let's say we wanted to put a number of different trees along this end, well, what we could do is we could activate this tool, and I'm gonna go ahead and click the checkbox to finish this one. Um, but what we could do is we could use this tool in order to place trees from here to here. And so notice how um, right now this is just placing the one tree in here. Well, you can add other trees just by clicking on this and then clicking the plus button. So by selecting different versions of this tree, you can adjust what's going to be placed in here. So and notice how this is adjusting the randomization of the objects as we go. Um, so that this is just randomizing the way these are in here. And one cool thing about this is if you want 10 objects, but you don't like the 10 that are in there, you can just drag this up to like 13, then drag it back down to 10, and it's going to re-randomize this. So you can re-randomize this by dragging it up and then back down in order to get a different set of objects in here if you don't like the ones that are in here. But one of the other things I really like about this tool is you can also randomize the offset, meaning you can make this way wider. So when you make this way wider, you can add a lot more objects in here and they look a lot more realistic. So notice how I can drag this up and I can add like a full forest in here just by uh, just by randomizing that offset and making it wider along this line. You can also randomize the spacing. So if these look too uniform, you can click and drag this in order to randomize that spacing as well. But you can see how adding like this full forest of trees is really easy with this tool. Then once I'm done, I'm just click the checkbox in order to place these. So another way that you can quickly add objects is by using the cluster placement tool. So the cluster placement tool is going to allow you to place a cluster of objects inside of your model. So let's say that I just wanted to um, add a cluster of a single kind of tree. So maybe this almond tree right here. You can see how with the cluster placement tool, what that's gonna do is that's gonna give you a random cluster of this object. So when I click, just gonna place a bunch of them in place. And so this is really good for like really quickly adding trees, like in your background over here. Now I will say it's not very customizable. You can't do anything with like the size or anything like that, but you can place a whole bunch of these really quickly. And it can be really helpful, especially if you start adding like undergrowth or other things like that. So let's say for example, that I wanted to add maybe some bushes or something. Well, we could go into our Let's go into our grass. I could select this and then just drop a bunch of this grass in here really quickly. And again, all it is is just randomly dropping these in here. So you don't have a whole lot of control over what it creates, but a lot of the time you don't necessarily need that inside of your renderings. And so that's a tool that's really good for uh, quickly placing like a single object. It's not as good for people. Um, just because you get the same person over and over again, but you can use it to drop a bunch of people in your model really quickly too, if you want to. And so then in addition, if you don't, if you want to place a whole bunch of something quickly and you don't like the cluster placement tool, um, in the newest version of Lumion, they also, for the vegetation, added a tool that allows you to paint objects in. So let's say I wanted to add a bunch of trees in here. Um, there's a tool in here for paint placement. And what that allows you to do is that allows you to paint a bunch of an object in here just by clicking and dragging. And so what you can do, and notice this is swapping these out for proxies just for performance when my camera is further away. But notice how you can adjust the density up and down. So if I add the density, you can see I'm gonna get a lot more of these. So this is a really good way to add trees to like hills or other things like that if you wanna do that. And then if you wanna remove them, you can just use the erase tool in order to get rid of them. You can also adjust the density. So see how this was like a full density. Well, I can put this to like 0.5 and then notice how this is adjusting the number of trees that are in here to a little bit less depending on what that density is. You can paint over this in order to do that as well. And so practically speaking, what I like about these tools is this allows me to really quickly add a whole bunch of objects. So let's say for example, that I needed to add a whole bunch of people like walking down the road. What I could do is I could use the mass place tool in order to do that. So I could randomize my offset. This, I have no idea why a bunch of these came in here all of a sudden, but we'll go ahead and get rid of a bunch of them. But what I can do in this situation is I can turn the randomize direction off. So they're all walking in the same direction. I can adjust 
that direction like this I'm going to turn this down and then I could also adjust the people that are in here as well so notice I can add all of these different people in here and if I wanted to let's say that I wanted them to be walking in different directions I can use tools like this one in order to quickly make that adjustment and so what I really like about this is just the fact that I can come in here and just do this really fast like I don't have to put a whole lot of thought into it I can really just add all of these people really quickly without having to um, make a whole lot of changes or spend a whole lot of time on it and so that's one of the things I really like about Lumion is just the mass placement tools in here are really great I really love the tools that are contained in here so that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Did you like it? Do you like the mass placement tools inside of Lumion? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new rendering content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.